you never guess what. Someone's just gone and tuned a Nissan Leaf and made it go faster. That's right, tuned a Nissan Leaf. Blow deck. A chap called Dala from Finland. Hi, I'm Dala. And today we are tuning this Leaf. Has uh, been working away, doing a few things with Nissan Leafs, like upgrading batteries, etc. And uh, he's just ended up tuning a Leaf and making it quicker. That's right. Quicker, not to 60, quicker. Oh my God. How did he do it? Well, he's gone and got a newer inverter, more powerful one. So he's chucked away the 80 kilowatt inverter, <laughs> rubbish. And uh, he's gonna put a new 110 kilowatt inverter on it. I'll be asking the same question. What's an inverter? An inverter, because not many people know, and uh, to be honest, I had to look it up myself, uh, changes the current from DC which is the type of electricity you get from the batteries to AC. So direct current to alternative current. Simple, really. You, you can't do it on a 2011, 2012 Leaf though. Something to do with the uh, motor, apparently. You can't have the original battery. You've got to upgrade it. You've got to upgrade it to a 40 kilowatt. Upgrade my battery to a 40 kilowatt. Yeah, of course, yeah. Battery conversion, that's what you need. What a battery conversion is. But if you don't, go to Chargehead's uh, forum, chargehead.co.uk. Some battery swap stuff in there, check it out. Well, the reason you have to upgrade to a 40 kilowatt battery is because it has a stronger fuse and that fuse is strong enough to take more power. power! Otherwise it won't work. So don't try and tune a 24 kilowatt in this method. You remove the original inverter and you put the more powerful inverter on top. There's a bit of a problem with this because it is very different. Although it does fit on nicely, as he demonstrates in this video, there are a few things that need changing. Things that need changing are things like coolant pipes and also a couple of plugs need re-jigging, uh, so to speak. Um, so I would recommend that, I wouldn't try this at home, I would make sure that whoever's gonna be doing this, if they attempt to do it, make sure they've got the uh, proper training and safety, because that is very important. Of course, have to remove certain fuses very carefully. There's quite a few things to remove around the engine bay as well. Um, so it's not just a question of pressing a button and you know turning up a, uh, a volume button or something like that. It's a bit more tricky than that. So an element of coding, which you need to do on the car, uh, just to make sure everything marries up. So once the fault codes come in the car, you know, you can actually put the uh, car's mind at rest and make sure it's not um, asking certain questions that don't need to be asked, AKA accepting the motor and letting you go fast. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just push the pedal to the floor now. Whoa! Holy <laughs> Whoa! What happens after you uh, connect this upgraded inverter of 110 kilowatts what actually happens? What does it give you? Well, I'll tell you what it gives you. It gives you a 0 to 60 improvement from 9.6 to 8 seconds. 1.6 0 to 60 second difference. Now that's a serious tune. A proper remap. That's like a stage two, a bigger turbo, a supercharger, Noz. Just like those stickers you get. I don't know. It's a lot. But this is only the beginning. And uh, what other cars do you think will be uh, tuned next? See some G wizards whizzing about a bit quicker. Do you know what? I'm going into boost. Going boost? I'm okay, going let's boost see what it's got. Oh, there is a difference, you know. Ooh, dangerous. Dave gonna pull up in his Golf R, all popping and banging at the lights with a Renault Zoe next to him, looking across, thinking, I'll have you. Mate Dave knows anything about it. The Renault Zoe has made a couple of 11s all the way down the road and he hasn't stopped popping and banging yet. Darla's my hero. I bow to you because you are making history with electric cars, some of the charge heads really like. Watching, I hope I've made the uh, EV modification a bit more exciting for uh, those petrol heads out there. And uh, well, the uh, charge heads, they really love it, so it's all good. You know, you can slab your ice car, but you know, get involved, like the other charge heads. Get on it, come on. It has pretty much made history when it comes to tuning an EV. Now, I don't know about you, obviously I've been into my ice cars, I still am into my ice cars and you know it's, it's really exciting to know that someone and lots of people are working on making electric cars more exciting for you know petrol heads and people that are into electric cars and that's what this channel is all about so I thought I'd let you know about this 
exciting development in the modification of EVs straight away. I'm excited. Awesome.